All right, guys, it's N60 Sean. It's our first semi-final match in our WWE YouTuber tournament. Dan TDM is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with H2O Delirious. Now, uh, Dan, whoa, hang on a second. H2O Delirious has just appeared just out of, like, Dan TDM's fireworks. And it's snuck up behind and just struck him with a baseball bat before the bell has even rung. And I was just about to say, H2O Delirious, one of the most dangerous competitors in this entire tournament. He's proved it time and time again. He destroyed Marco. We got a tombstone. Early door. It's straight in with a tombstone by the H2O Delirious. This could be it. This could be one, two. And oh, Dan just kicking out at the last second. H2O Delirious. Absolutely no messing about. Just, to, just putting that foot into the throat of Dan TDM. I was going to say, he, he destroyed Markiplier in the first round. He even won the Halloween Hardcore match. But, oh, Dan TDM wrestling that steel chair. You need to watch h 2 Delirious with those steel chairs. He does vile, vile things with that steel chair. And a diamond cutter from, from Dan TDM. One, two. And that is usually a move which could put away anyone. That's what put away popular MMOs, the strongest competitor in the tournament. It was that diamond cutter which put him down. Oh, that'll put you down as well. A steel chair shot to the head. And h Delirious needs to watch that diamond cutter. Dan TDM's signature move because he can hit it at any time. And usually if he hits it, the match is over. And Dan TDM with a DDT on a steel chair to h Delirious. Cover now. One. <laughs> Not even a one count. And this is the thing. Dan TDM, this is probably his toughest opponent in any YouTuber WWE match that he has had so far. Last year's finalist. Can he get past Hayesford Delirious in the semi-finals here? And this one has started in a fast and furious fashion. And Dan TDM now looking under the ring for some more weaponry. A ladder being brought out now and just smashes Hayesford hey, Delirious. Dan TDM managing to get himself back into this match a little bit after that early assault from H2O Delirious. Slowing the pace down a little bit. But now H2O Delirious has come back with a right hand. These two brawling on the outside, straight into the announce table. Goes down and oh, straight over the barricade into the crowd. And H2O Delirious follows in. And this, this fight has gone, into the, it's gone into the audience here. H2O Delirious with right hands back and forth from Dan TDM brawling among the, uh, among the fans here in the arena. And this thing is just completely descended into all-out nonsense here. As, uh, we're in like a sort of little side area. Dan TDM getting a steel chair. There's a table. There's a garbage can around. And Dan TDM using that steel chair to his advantage. Remember, no disqualifications or count outs in these matches because nobody likes a DQ finish or a count out. That's just boring. And a fireman's carry takeover by H2O Delirious. The momentum back with H2O here. And I think this sort of environment has got to favour H2O Delirious. Dan TDM was probably better off keeping H2O Delirious in the ring as he sets him up in a fall away slam. Dan TDM going straight through a table as well. And there's a lot of steel chairs. And this is what concerns me with H2O Delirious. We've seen him put Markiplier on the shelf with a, with a sort of horrible guillotine steel chair move. Despicable stuff. And Dan TDM just thrown into the garbage area. And now uh, h 2 Delirious, he's got a garbage can and just smashed it. Oh, that looked like that might have hurt. That looked like I might have got Dan TDM in a sensitive area with a garbage can. And that is not going to make anybody smile. And oh, a DDT. And they, I think that might have busted Dan TDM wide open on the concrete floor, face first. And as you can see by the steel chair, that is not good. Oh, Dan TDM is in a state. Not good news for Dan TDM and of course the pinfall can the, the, the win can only take place in the centre of the ring it's not falls count anywhere it's just no count outs and h Delirious taking Dan TDM who is got a crimson mask at this stage and I thought Dan TDM was just pulling it around but h Delirious he's a monster he's the most brutal person in this competition for me and he's going up top and this could be bad news Dan TDM, but he's up and he's nailed him with a diamond cutter. This is what put popular MMOs away in the first round. That diamond cutter, the most dangerous move in the tournament, you've got to believe. And that's got to be it. Make the cover, Dan. Dan TDM could be going to the final here. One, two, oh, 
it's not even a two count. Hasto Delirious is an absolute monster. And Dan TDM has got to come up with something if he has got any hope of facing either Jack Septicai or Leafy in the final. And, a, and another diamond cutter, a second diamond cutter from Dan TDM. And a third, I think just Dan TDM is just going to spam him with these diamond cutters and hope that he's just going to four diamond cutters in a row. I think that's like the fifth altogether in the match, an unprecedented amount of diamond cutters. And Dan TDM as well, still chair to the head. And I mean, that's got to be all she wrote. Uh, still not even a two count, man. What can you possibly do to put Heisua Delirious away? But Dan TDM still not giving up. He's not out of ideas. He's gone to the outside of the ring and he's bringing that ladder which he got out of the, from underneath the ring in the early stages of this match. And Dan TDM with some contempt, just kicking H2O Delirious down to the map as he sets up the ladder and he's climbing up to the top. Maybe I think he's going to be looking to dive on H2O Delirious from the top here. And he's at the top of that ladder, but H2O Delirious has recovered and is also climbing the ladder. And now we've got an exchange at the top. This cannot be good. Whoever comes out on top of this is surely going to the finals. And now there's like a face-off in Dan TDM with a diamond cutter off the top of the ladder. Ridiculous scenes. And I think that has got to be enough to put the monster H2O Delirious away. Dan TDM making the cover. One, two, and Dan... No, he... Whoa! Dan TDM didn't get three. We've had a mid-air diamond cutter. Four diamond cutters from the ground, a diamond cutter from the top of the ladder, and H2O Delirious still managing to come back, and he's still mounting an offense here. H2O Delirious, he's got Dan TDM up. Well, oh, this is just a ridiculous turnaround. Tombstone pile driver. What a turnaround by H2O Delirious. Two, and Dan still with something left in the tank. And Hastro Delirious, what is he doing? Getting something, some sort of some a source of strength from a higher power. And maybe the third tombstone. But Dan TDM managing to wriggle out of it. Going for the diamond cutter again, but Hastro Delirious pushes him off from the diamond cutter. Dan TDM going for another tombstone and a jumping tombstone this time. And I don't think there's going to be any coming back from that from Dan TDM. One, two. And three, what a semi-final match. H2O Delirious coming out on top. Who is going to stop H2O Delirious? Jack Septicai and Leafy. If they get to the final, how on earth are they going to stop this guy from just plowing through them and getting to the final for that N60 YouTuber Championship match against Dan is not on fire. I've been N60 Sean. Ridiculous match. Drop a like on it if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. See you for Jack Septicai versus Leafy.